What is going on, guys? This is your boy Shady Mike Gaming, and welcome to another signature shot on the channel. Uh, definitely, you know, Jason Tatum was one of the hardest ones that we've done so far. Um, I really appreciate all the support on the channel, all the signature shots, and you know, the modding videos. Shout out to everyone that came out to the live stream. I think I'm going to do that every Tuesday from now on, considering that's my day off. So um, I really appreciate all the support, guys. If you like the content, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel. Sliders coming up soon. My Odds coming up soon. Please be patient with me on that. Um, we're getting to it. So, guys, first and foremost, Jason Tatum, a very difficult shot to come up with. And I'm going to tell you guys right out right, you cannot perfectly replicate Tatum's shot in NBA 2K21. There are just too many different aspects of it. But I'm going to show you guys what I came up with. I killed it just like always. Don't get me wrong. We're going to we're going to send you guys away with some heat. But I do just want to kind of show you guys what we were going for and exactly what's going on with his shot and why it's so weird. I um, mean, we can go from there so number one on jason tatum uh his default jump shot is perfect it's exactly how he shot not shoots the ball um this is his perfect form from his pre-draft workouts um all of his jump shots from duke um it's literally perfect wide base um legs start wide and stay wide throughout the shot jump shot is directly above the hairline slightly to the right if i can get the camera on the ball there we go perfect perfect form and the guide hand flicks outwards unfortunately for 2k uh tatum's been in the league for a few years now he's been working with different shot coaches and things of that nature he no longer shoots like this so unfortunately while this was the perfect form we are still going to go ahead and work to uh go ahead and get um his form perfected some people changed tatum's base i did not change his base um so let's go ahead and talk about exactly what we need as we're going through the footage we're going to talk a little bit about what tatum does with his shot why it's so quirky and exactly uh what he did to change from the pre-draft form to what he does now so let's go ahead and get into that take a look at the base again it's perfect wide feet short hop forward stay wide throughout jason tatum does shoot from right above the hairline still and it's really above the hairline and above that right eye the only thing is now and i don't know if this is you know from a shot coach or something like that jason tatum does an extremely exaggerated motion where if you look at his right elbow so we're going to turn the camera he literally jams his right elbow inwards as he shoots So he jams it in like it's very unorthodox and there's only a few base a few releases in 2k that captures that motion i'm gonna have footage you know above the you know on top of me talking so we're trying to capture that exaggerated motion of his right elbow and the person i thought of immediately was michael kid gilchrist and some of you guys that know mkg um know that he had a really crazy weird shot but i noticed some similarities in terms of tatum trying to get that elbow in uh in the way that that um release looks so that's actually the base release that i use for my six shot so the other thing that has changed with tatum as i try to get the camera adjusted here is his offhand no longer flares outwards like that it does flare but it still st stays straight with the ball so he has an extremely exaggerated flare on that offhand however it doesn't flare flat like that it kind of flares forward with the ball and he kind of has like a two motion catapult shot which this is and he does you know kind of get that wrist flick forward but he no longer does that crazy motion um with his left hand So we're going to go ahead and take a look at a couple examples of that. Um, again, this one was pretty tough, but this is a full signature edit. We're going to take a look at, you know, everything that dribbles and see exactly what we came up with. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we came up with for Tatum. Again, the things we're going to be looking at, you take a look at the base, those feet, they start spread apart and throughout the shot, they're going to stay spread apart. We're looking for when he brings that shot up, that release point, the ball placement is going to be directly above the hairline slightly to the right 
and that's going to be that release point it looks very good there um but the number one thing you really want to focus on is that right elbow kind of you know jamming itself inwards you really want to see that elbow pushed as far in towards the chin as possible and what I like to do is just, you know, take a look from behind. You see that elbow when he does bring it up, that elbow is just jammed in and he's got like that, that right hand is just flat, just like that. It looks very good. That's a very good still if you compare it to some of his NBA footage. And then when he releases upon release, watch that left hand flare out. Perfect. And let's go ahead and take a look in full motion. we got one more here and just that flare and again that flare of the left um hand the guide hand again it, i think it's even further out than that the number one thing about the flare is it is a two motion shot so that flare has to go forward with the ball and you can see we we captured that pretty well i think we did a good job i think like i said it's, it's going to be impossible to get it perfect but i think in terms of you know hitting all of those bases that we wanted to hit i love the base you can see throughout the base those legs watch them hop forward they, they stay spread um just you know a slight hop forward very consistent with what jason tatum does um i think we did a really good job here and this is the signature shot uh that i'm gonna go ahead and use um you know pretty regularly um and, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the alternative that i came up with and you guys can let me know um if you know you you prefer this one better all right now we are here with the alternate jump shot and just taking a look again we're using the same base um when you go ahead and bring the ball up i this is a more accurate form but you do sacrifice some of the and i'm trying to get the camera on the ball so we can get high enough so this is a much more accurate form he brings his elbow in um a lot more and this is you know a lot more dead on the only thing is the ball placement is off it is what it is it's very high um it's a little bit it's just a little bit too high it's not crazy high but when he does shoot you're gonna see that he does have a much more exaggerated offhand so it's a much more exaggerated offhand and and I, until i looked at the footage i mean this is the perfect form don't get me wrong until i looked at the footage i didn't know how crazy he goes with the offhand but that kind of is what it is that is what he does but again with the limitations of the 2k shot blender there's nothing you can do now i also want to show you guys the moving jump shots because this will help you in terms of your decision of what shots you want to use this one is much more accurate in terms of maintaining the form that looks so goofy but like i'm telling you we'll go watch the footage this is how he shoots this one is much more accurate in terms of maintaining the form throughout all of the moving jump shots and that flare is much more um pronounce i'll say and even if we do one live like you can see he maintains that form perfectly even throughout all of the step backs all of the spin jumpers like that elbow is really really tucked and it looks weird in in 2k's animation because they don't really think of someone shooting like that the only thing is just with the ball placement i do think the release is a little bit too high but this is exactly the perfect form the ball pl placement is just very off um he really does the same thing but he he just does it right in front of his face so obviously it's going to be a, a little bit off because it's too high but he still has that exaggerated offhand again i'm going to show you both um you guys can use whichever one you prefer i just wanted to you know kind of get that out there because a lot of the um signature shots were kind of just ignoring how crazy Tatum's shot is and and I, I thought like you know I should leave that choice up to you guys you guys should be able to you know make that decision in terms of what you guys want to do and just because you know 2k jump shot you know maker is a little bit limited that doesn't mean like you know you guys can't actually replicate what we're seeing every day and the hardcore Jason Tatum fans again you guys will you know kind of appreciate that all right guys so we're going to take a look real quick this is the alternate shot the one with the exaggerated offhand that release 141 is what causes that left hand to flare out like that for those that like that look that's going to show that form through all the moving jump shots this is the alternate form now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the official form uh, that i'm going to go ahead and push out for jason tatum all right guys when you 
you take a look at Jason Tatum, the first thing you're going to want to do, in my opinion, I'm going to go ahead and switch his primary position to small forward, and the secondary is a power forward. I, I, he's playing the, they have two bigs on the floor alongside Tatum. Um, I like him as a three. I think he's more of a three um, as opposed to a small ball four. Um, we're going with set shot 34, release 100, perfect blend of 50 uh, with 150 uh, to keep that elbow in very quick to make that, uh, you know, animation very clean and very quick. Um, I went ahead with a free throw seven. Um, I like the Durant pull up. It, it still shows that form very well and it just adds a lot of the leaning that Tatum does. I mean, we've seen Tatum do all of these moves. Um, the spin jumper, I went with jumper nine. I felt like that was the most accurate. normal 11 uh gives tatum a lot of lean a lot of that exaggerated uh step back look so i'm a big fan of that one thing about tatum is is, is his step backs are a little bit exaggerated but they are still quick they still do maintain his form all the way through um you know you guys gotta remember a lot of these shots that you know people back in the day would call bad shots uh, these are shots that tatum works on shots that tatum has incorporated into his game um, you know, obviously being a school of, you know, that that line of people that Kobe Bryant tutored um, so that, you know, that is a, a big part of that um, as well. Um, the layup package, believe it or not, I actually like James Harden when I was looking at a lot of his layups, he's, he's very like. Uh, exaggerated in some of his Euro steps and the way he goes to the rim. So I went with Harden. Um, his dunk packages, very simple here. We went with the athletic one-handers off of one. I was thinking about doing straight arm tomahawks, but I thought some of them were just a little bit too crazy. Um, when Tatum is driving into traffic for a poster dunk, um, he will do an athletic uh, one-hander off two. So we did go ahead and make sure he had that. We do have Tatum's post game completely figured out. Again, these post fades, the hop shots, all of these are animations that uh, Tatum does regularly. Um, again, he is, you know, a tough shot taker and a tough shot maker. Um, so these are all part of his game. Um, as for his dribbling, not a lot to change here. I changed his dribble style to Dennis Johnson um, and his size up is normal. Um, you will see Tatum kind of rock back and forth from time to time. Really, from what I could find, the only ones that do that are normal, elite, and then the Kevin Durant. But I just thought the Kevin Durant one was a little bit too much. And the only one that kind of goes that far is KD himself. So I went ahead and stuck with the basic, uh, the default normal for Jason Tatum. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this Jason Tatum signature edit. Uh, we took a poll on the channel on who I was going to work on next, and it was pretty overwhelming that you guys wanted uh, wanted James Harden. So James Harden is going to be next. Comment down below who you, after Harden, uh, you guys would like to see me do, and we'll set up another poll, and we'll go ahead and vote on that again. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Uh, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Um, definitely follow me on all my social networks, at Shady Mike Gaming on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. Um, as far as the channel, I do have a modding showcase coming up. So subscribe for that. Um, follow the 2K Modding Society official Twitter account where we're sharing mods and things of that nature. And join the Discord as well for some awesome uh, discussions and things of that nature. Other than that, guys, I'm out of here. Shady Mike. Peace. Threes.